have a gift for your wife. Okay. Oh my gosh! It's a gift for my wife! I'm sorry if you're watching this, the surprise is ruined. I'm sorry if you're watching this, the surprise is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> thought about grabbing it. Where did you get that? That was one that's on the company store. This is the same one that I was going to get you guys while I was at the conference last year. Okay. But I didn't have any room in my little bag by the end of everything because they gave us all kind of crazy little bullshit to bring back to the store. So. You love that. So if I look over here, there's one person watching my video? <laughs> I can't see the screen. It's me right now, but I, I'm sharing it out. I got one viewer! I'm sure it's like Twitter. <laughs> Watch this guy work on my fucking brakes. Sure, Matt's gonna Matt's gonna come out here and give me crap. gonna come out here and be like, what are you doing? Well, you can be the director and tell me if I need to move the camera. I will. Okay. These are actually, these are rack. Really easy brakes to do. I'm amazed. Okay, let's get the brakes. You wanna grab those rotors for me, please? Sure. Oh yeah, dude. These are, these are kind of torched. I don't know if you can see that. Heating right there. But he's getting a bunch of wobble in the front end, so I found the idler arm is loose, uh, the drag link from the pitman arm is loose, and we're suspecting the brakes, so they don't look good anyway, so that's about all I can find on this. We'll see how that turns out here in a minute on the test drive. Good 
gear of the brakes, though. Is my ass in the shot? Yeah, but it's perfect gear of the brakes. <laughs> There's no color correction on this. No, but I mean, then it's kind of taken away. Right? I like how there's a little delay in it, too. It's like you just went back too far and you just came back. <laughs> it's like, wait, where are you That going? bad, huh? Huh? That bad of a delay? Yeah, it's probably, I bet you. Is it is it pointed correctly? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. This wipe with the red rag. Absolutely horrifying size difference on these pads. But. I think it's going through like three apps. It's going through an app and then it's uploading to YouTube and then the FCC has to censor me. I don't know. You have friends that are dirty, muddy truckers? Dirty, muddy truckers? <laughs> They're not mudder truckers. Uh, how'd you wire that CB in? Oh, is it just hooked up a cigarette lighter? Oh, okay. Change tone with your RPMs? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then yeah, it's from your coil. And then an RF modulator thingy on your coil. On the coil or just well, on the line on the wire? Well, the spark plug wires have them built in. Right. But you're getting feedback from the coil too. Oh, this motherfucker. This sucks, cuz. So the caliper won't push back. So What's purdy? Because my tool sucks. No, the new, the new, uh, Here we the, go. The new metal always looks nice. Oh, yes. In the south, they can't wait to get dirty, though. When they're out there mud. You go, uh. <laughs> Speaking of getting dirty, the whistling diesel channel. On YouTube? Oh, yeah. Dude, he's crazy. He just he lives out on a farm and just breaks all of his shit. Oh, really? On purpose? Yeah, he got a, uh, he got a really jacked up, like, a uh, Chevy HD or something, like 2500, and he put four uh, big tractor tires on each, on, uh, eight tractor tires. There's two on the front, two on the rear, on each side, like dualies. Right. And he got it to float, and he took it out in the water. There we go. Had the Coast Guard, the sheriff's falling around. I was getting sound and I was wondering why. It's gonna be... Now it's gonna be echoing. You're gonna throw me off with this. I know, I'll throw it off. I just want to be here. He's talking about muddy water. No, he took his Duramax out in the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. No, he's just driving his truck out in the ocean. He put, like I said, he put two tires here, two tires there. On the water. Yeah, you gotta watch it. It's awesome. Like I am, yeah. 
Like I said, the sheriffs and the coast guards were following him around. Probably thinking, probably thinking, no, this guy's not gross. So, uh... Can you make a comment on there? Tell me I'm doing this wrong so I feel better about myself. Oh, that you're doing what? The brakes. Can you make comments on there? Yeah. <laughs> I already did. Uh oh. I said, yo, that's my thing. Uh, Does it say how many viewers I don't have? All three of you watching? Matt making his comments. Get your arm out of the fucking way. I can't see what you're doing. It does. It says three watching. Oh, there's three. Well, hello, everybody. Well, you know, it's going to take you time. If you start doing more live streams like on a consistent basis. Well, it live streams and then it actually records it and, save, and saves it. Yeah. And then I can go edit myself out of it. So I don't have to listen to myself. Edit me too. These are the easiest breaks I've done in a long time. Really? Yeah. That's because everything else on this car has been hard. So you can bury it. Like straight up easy. Yeah, I might be in the shot again. There's lighting behind the fire. I'll tell you when you start pumping that back up. Wow, that's got like a. And now you're bumping it up. That's like a 30 second delay or oh, better. Yeah, I said 20 or 30 seconds. Wow. Well, that's so if like there's a murder or something, then you can kind of cut that and go to the Yeah. Well, that's how, like, you know, the. This video brought to you by Ginsu. Well, you know, that's how uh, most of the stuff you see on my TV it has a well, that's for the F that's for the FCC to beep out your bad language. Exactly. This video this video isn't monetized anyway, so I can swear. Look over the right. See the dog? It's like a greyhound or a whippet. Uh. I'm thinking because it looks like it's got a cape on. It probably listens to Whippet. What I love is that you got that. Most guys would be scratching their heads going, God, you're weird. Dude. Who's, who's Devo? Weird anyways, but it's nice when someone else can share in the room. Are you calling me old? It's funny, my, uh, my boss, my old boss, used to say that my boss would be like, crap, you guys. Listen to Phil Collins, and she just kept asking me how fucking old I really was. I know you told me that before. Yeah. You know, forgetfulness is also a sign of age. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, now we're looking at it. See, we're now you can. Yet. Now you can watch us you later. Just moved, you just moved the jack out of the way. Now you can watch us later and tell me I forgot to do something. I already put. Oh, someone else commented. Was it Matt? Wait, 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 wait. That's a valid point. Yeah, what the hell? I don't believe that. Oh, all sales are final. Now you're putting someone over that. If there was if there was another mechanic, if I was sending you on your way, I would put some thread locker on there. Yeah, and if you threaten to take it to another mechanic, I'd put a lot of thread locker on there. Seriously? Yeah, fuck the next guy. That's kind of like... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. That's kind of like when we want to get back at the uh, uh, painter, or I mean, a, a customer. Yeah. My uh, old boss, we were on a job, and the gal was just, you know, just a pain. And she was being basically kind of busy. And so he said, he said, it's good. He said, well, I'm going to paint the front door.
still doing the lug nuts? Well, now you're in the car, but you're right. Uh-oh. I saw your license plate number. I know you did. We'll have to, we'll have to get rid of that. They're going to come steal your vehicle. I was not trying, I was actually trying to not show the plate number. Dude, they're going to dox me and they're going to send I'll me I'll blur like, it out. They're going to send me like 500 pizzas. <laughs> Say what? They're going to dox me and send me 500 pizzas. Guys, guys used to do that back in the day. Someone send, would piss send them off. Send you extra pizzas? Someone would piss them off online. And they'd dox them and find out where they live. And then they'd send them, they'd call them and deliver like, you know, 20 pizzas. And the guy standing there at the door with a delivery guy with 20 pizzas, you know. <laughs> so I didn't use any thread locker on this because... You don't need it. Who's going to be the next guy working on this? You. All right, then. I don't use anti-seize on spark plugs either. Or, or Mr. Cerveza. Ooh. Isn't that his name? Senor Cerveza? Yeah. <laughs> the other mechanic? The other. The other. The, un, the, the, the mask. Two and a half years, um, I haven't fixed any of his problems. Oh, really? Is he pretty good? Oh, yeah, he's a good mechanic. I figured he was. He sure has all the toys. Oh, check Five, out that scout. Five o'clock just comes really early for him. There's a scout over there. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Hey, 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 you're slacking on the... You're slacking. You want my knife? Yeah. You don't like my knife. I mean, I'm slacking. Well, being that... Uh, can I see anything here? I can barely see what I'm doing. No, it looks... It will look good. Yeah, there's learning now curve. Really there's a learning curve here. Uh, now you have four watching. Being that I am using my knife as a camera stand, I could oh. use all I could use all the support from you I can get. Uh, we should mention that I'm the, the delivery boy too. You are the delivery boy for the parts for your vehicle. I know. And I I'm made the expect, customer. I'm expecting a free hat from them. I made the customer go <laughs> to the other store and get the parts for his vehicle. Because he's been waiting for how many months to get this done? No, I'm getting it. <laughs> Because I was too busy uh, moving your returning phone calls and making videos. No, but I, yeah, that's why I'm live. It's because I work until dark and then I go home and clean house and I don't have time to. You gotta mention a puppy. A dog that shits all over my house. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's getting. Uh oh. That's getting old. You're not being as entertaining. It, it, as entertaining as like the last wheel. Why? What happened? Because you lost one viewer. Oh. <laughs> they were probably getting yelled at by their wife for watching stupid automotive channel videos. Why are you watching that? We have what a, are you watching? We have a, why are you watching that? We have a town and country. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass out there and mow the lawn. Yeah, in the rain with your mask on. Well, I'm surprised that there are three or what, however many people watching me right now. There's three. That's I, I appreciate their time. That's very awesome. Uh, I'm surprised, but it also records it. Those are the three. Those are three of my 680 subscribers. Right. <laughs> Apparently, they don't have anything better to do, just like me. Like me. Than work on your car. Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, it record. I'm happy to get all the crap done. It, it recorded. I was going to. I it's Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, I just doing all those different jobs and everything. I totally forgot that I needed. Isn't to that sit, the one you replaced last year? Sit down and make a video yesterday. No, it was the other side. What was the other side? Why was that all messed up? What? Last year, remember before we did the the axles? Yeah. You had taken that, that it was all this like moving around. I think I know because I think I that kit this kit comes with these seals to rebuild the calipers, it comes with all the rubber pieces for the calipers and everything. Oh. I think we threw pads on it, yeah, we did because ow, Woo -hoo. 
Because but before you did, before you did, these the, don't look a year old. These look older than that. Well, so. no, the other one, the other side was the one that you started with. So I don't understand that. That's kind of weird. What do you mean? Well, when we before we did the axles, when you're pulling, you pulled off the tire, and then you went look, and it was like moving all over the place. Oh, that was the hub. The bearing. Oh, so it's totally different than that. Yeah, so I would have oh. taken it. I would have taken it apart, but if all these things looked okay, I would have put them back together. Okay. Because we were dealing with a loose bearing. Oh, okay. And the brakes probably looked fine, or we may have done. Well, the... no, we switched the pads out. Did we? Yeah. Okay. Because I remember running in, I said, "Well, God, seeing me have it open, I might as well have you put, throw the brakes in." Oh, okay. Remember, I had just got it, and I just wanted to make sure that I was okay. Yeah. I wasn't like going for like. You know, hey, let's do a perfect brake job or anything. I just knew that just putting pads in, at least for now, would be good. I, I love it when my customers. It was preventative. Call me a half-assed mechanic. I didn't call you that. <laughs> I don't think that's what I said at all. <laughs> just kidding. You are one of my best customers. I would just say that to all the guys in the video up there. Oh, oh, <laughs> got me. No, actually. Uh, oh, you got four now. Woo. Not that I, not that I love working on this vehicle specifically, but. Um, Wait, here you go. I'm gonna read you a comment. This is from the Backwoods Mechanic. I purchased a Chevy Astra with 40, 480,000 miles on it. Damn. Sold it when it gets seven hundred eighteen thousand. Dang. The man who purchased it wanted the engine in his van, and it's still driving at ten years. 10 years later. Wow. 700,000 miles. 718,000 miles. Wow. So there's hope for my car. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a little bit of good news. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> How many miles you got on this right now? Uh, I think it's like about 205,000. Oh, she's just broke in. You're just breaking her in. <laughs> If seven if seven eighteen is the curve, yeah, that's just like that's just the breaking period. And what have we had go wrong in a year? Well, we found out that the front axle is from a completely different year and a different oh the S10 I think. Yep, yep. The front axle came out of an S10. So the uh, and then we had the great flood. So the axle lengths are different. And then the, the great, spider and the spider injection. We did the spider injection and and the great flood. The great flood came upon us. What great flood? Oh, the seal, the uh, intake seal. Oh, intake manifold gasket, spider yep. injection. Yeah. Uh, new distributor. Yes. Well, so that See, that begs it seems me to like there was something else. I think a steering pump. No. That begs me to question. So the guy bought. The, that tr uh, Astro at 700,000, 700 plus thousand miles. No, he sold it at 700. Right, the other guy bought it at oh, 700 yeah, yeah, yeah. for the motor. Yeah. So was the motor ever replaced or was it just really, really well maintained? I don't know. Or... Ask if the backwoods mechanic. Ask him. I am asking him. Oh, okay. You're, you're... If, he's, if he's still watching, I'm, I'm indirect, well, I, I assume indirectly has, asking I assume this gentleman. Be, we got four viewers still. Uh, that'll... They'll jump off here in a minute. <laughs> Uh-oh, some guy's leaving. He said it was great. I will catch the end of this later. Keep up. Keep it up. Live stream is fun. Awesome. Thank you. Who's some guy? That is the Great Jelly Donut. Oh, the Great, the great Jelly, Jelly donut. donut. Yeah, he's been with me for a while now. I think so. I think that's what I'm So ask, ask the backwoods mechanic uh, what was wrong with this Vastro. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So these, I swear I replaced these. They don't look beautiful. There's a kit here. There's a kit here to replace these. But the deal is, is that they, they came out just fine. You know, where'd I put them? The other side looked better. Now I'm gonna clean these up real quick because there's a little bit of rubber stuck on these. But it's I could have so swore, I could have swore, unless it was another Astro van, but usually you'll find that these things are just completely tore up and they're not gonna hold any grease. 
and there's o-rings in there and everything like that so uh these these look these look okay they're not hard and broken and cracking and they're actually hold so i'm just gonna go clean these up and grease these up uh and not spend the time to replace all of these seals uh you know at some point we're going to be doing control arms and, and getting back in here and doing a lot more work on this um, we did the cv axles and everything again found out that they're uh, front differentials from like a 2000 s10 or 98 s10 and i'm sure there's probably some leaks and stuff under there but we're worried about the brake shimmy and a lot of that was coming from this idler arm here uh, i'm gonna swap that out and the drag link there uh, in a minute um but i'm just not gonna worry about these seals for now they they don't look too bad they're just dirty so back we go Hey, you can zoom in on my incompetence. I'll be back in a second. So much of a delay I can hear myself think. What? You gotta love my comment. Oh no, what did you say? I basically said he's done so much work on this van. I bought it a year ago, but it's a nice vehicle. The mechanic, this mechanic knows his stuff. I'm so glad I found him creeping around the local auto parts store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just said, what did you say? I know. I think that uh, delay kind of goes in and out as far as uh, time signature. Like sometimes it's really far and then sometimes it's not too long of a delay. It could have something to do with uh, up upload time. Yeah. Well, because you're using cell, cell uh, data. I'm using cell data and I'm using a third party uh, live stream app. Oh, you should always go to the first party. The third, second and third never are fun. Well, by the time you get to the second and third party, you're already drunk. So you just don't remember. True. <laughs> <laughs> Said by the two guys that don't drink. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not cool anymore. I haven't drank in over four or five years, so. Oh, that makes me so uncool. 26 years. <laughs> You've been sober 26 years? Yeah, I must be like the nerd. No, that's good. That's a good job. <laughs> well, thank you, but that still makes me a nerd in your in your theory. <laughs> Another comment. What's this guy saying? Uh oh. This is Brian Hill. He says, "Really great job on your channel. Could you make a video covering some of the ins and outs of your day to day, more in regards to the business aspect?" Oh, well. So apparently, he works for the state of Washington. <laughs> <laughs> He's just fishing. Taxauditor.com. <laughs> 
He's with the Department of Revenue. <laughs> Actually, a funny thing, uh, on my Instagram channel, uh, somebody popped up there, and their name is Tax Specialist. Seriously? Yeah, they followed me. Nice. Uh, no, not. Well, I'm kind of worried about that. You know, what's funny <laughs> is we were on a job. This is like way back when I first started working for my old boss. And we're on a job, and we're standing like out in front of the place, and he gets a really weird call, and he hangs it up, and he looks at me, and he goes, "That's some guy freaking doing like a just a, like a random call." He thinks it was like some state auditor or something like that for the for Department of Rep. Oh. And I'm like, well, maybe. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I'm not answering that number again. <laughs> it's like the kind of question like, what tax uh, software do you use? <laughs> just to see if you actually use tax software. Oh, you yeah. know, just to see. I don't know what it was. I mean, I can't remember what it was. Now, all my back office stuff is handled by my wife. I do the artistic part of the job. That's a really good uh, answer. Well, it's an honest answer. She, that she does, a, that she does all my back would that hold up a court? <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. I'm going to have to edit my video. I, well, yeah, that's a given, dude. <laughs> um. Now yeah, what are you looking for? Do you want to go jockey the wheel for a second so I can... Hang on. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah. Go jockey it so I can show him what's up with this idler arm. <clears throat> Yeah. All right, where are we at? Hang on, I gotta zoom out. Okay. Right here. It's hard to tell, but everything else is tight. All these are tight. I don't feel any movement in them. When you put your hand around here, I can totally feel some movement here. And here up against the. Ur! Ur! Where the idler connects to the frame and the ball joint there, where the idler connects to the drag link. There's a lot of movement there. And then on the pitman side, you can see we're here, where the pitman arm connects to the drag link. No, right here. It's got some movement too. Oh, that's the other idler. Yeah, I think we'll be replacing that idler too. That one's got a lot of play in it. All right, well, back to the uh, store here. Um, makes me wonder if I should even replace this drag link. No, probably not. Just the idlers for now and see what it does. Well, let's rewrite that page and we'll get back to it in a second here. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> that's good, that's good. That's good. Didn't say anything. Good lord, that's the most cardio I've had in years. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's gonna be an intermission time, like five minutes, so I can go get a part. So everybody gets to stare at the underside of a Chevy Astro van while I go get some parts. There you go. That'll be interesting. But now you got six watching. Well, I'm sorry. I'm Matt, gonna have to take. Matt a, McMahon says get back to work. I'm gonna have to take a five minute. Matt McMahon parts says, break, so I'll be back in five minutes. Thank you for watching. No, Matt McMahon says get back to work. Matt McMahon. McMahon or whatever. McMahon Enterprises. Yeah, he says, looks, looks broke. Who, the mechanic?
you say now? Nothing. Well, the Brian Hill guy. Yeah. He said he's considering his own uh, mobile business. And then he says, ha ha, no tax man here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a point of contention. Um, yeah, that's a likely story. That's a, that's a likely story. So, Brian, uh, there's a lot of different markets out there and a lot of different... Uh, what the hell is the word I'm thinking of? the word I'm thinking of different types of people different income rates I'm in a higher income rate for where I'm working so uh, judging my uh, income and in the, the front office part of this um, off of my experiences is unfair um, because I'm in a higher market um, a lot of the markets would support 50 or 60 dollars an hour um, but because of that and because of the price breaks that I get on the parts and everything um, it's kind of difficult for me to write out a plan to, to share with you guys um, that would be accurate for your demographic uh, of what you what kind of vehicles you're working on because I work on BMWs I work on Audis I work on domestic vehicles um, a lot of Asian vehicles Porsches and things like that also so it really depends because of the caliber of vehicle you're working on uh, I work on Astro vans I work on pickup trucks I, you know it's just uh, uh, Honda Civics uh, I can't yeah I do not work on Priuses anymore um, or Nissan as much as possible and Nissan Murano specifically and there's a lot of reasons for that 16 years of doing this uh, I've learned what vehicles are just going to be a problem and that you cannot deal with um, but again because of the diversities of what I do and and the income bracket of the people around me uh, it's kind of unfair for me to try to explain what that's worth. Um, but you can, I, I don't charge uh, customers um, retail price for my parts. I give them a wholesale price and I charge them a fair amount for the labor. But I also isolate myself in one location, which makes it a lot easier for the customers to find me. And I don't have to drive around. I'm not out in a country environment where I have to drive 30 miles to a job. That saves me time. Um, I try to transfer that savings down to the customer. So as far as specific numbers, no, I'm not going to get into that. Um, however, if you wanted, uh, we could talk offline uh, about how to structure the business, maybe set it up um, so that you could remain profitable uh, depending on where your location is and what types of vehicles you work on. So hopefully that answered the question. Uh, if not, we could talk in the future. And back to everybody else, I'm going to stick you back underneath this Astro. Be gentle. Be gentle with me. Okay, I need sockets. One moment. Socket? No, Socket Oh, Goldie Hawn. Who? Goldie Hawn. Yeah, socket Oh, that is correct, sir. I was like, Goldie Hawn, what the hell are you talking about? All right. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go under the driver's side over here try to find this oh lordy christ this idler arm there uh, that might be a problem i think that's different a wheel a wheel return to the flashlight let me see where am i at here this idler hey you want to go jockey the wheel again it was this one right here can you jockey the wheel for me, please? Yeah. Mr. Mr. Astro owner? No, because I'm seeing it here. I know, but I was just sharing it out again. Sharon? Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. I just want to see what I'm looking at here. I'll bring the camera over. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's this idler. And you can just see the movement in that thing. This is the driver's side. So we're going to get these. So here we go. Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm just live streaming because I don't want to spend the time to edit this. I'm lazy. So that's pretty much why. 
This is 17. You can only guess wrong so many times before you get it right. There it goes. Might need a. No, we actually. Uh, we're doing work. Might need a breaker bar on this one. Nope. What? Nothing. Now I'm actually doing work. No, I said now we have proof of you actually doing work. Oh. I'm gonna do one vehicle a year. I'll be okay. There you go. Hey, there's your Loctite. All right. Um, turn your wheel to the yes for me, please. To the what? To the yes. To the yes? Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> say which way? I say yes. The left or right? I don't know. Yes. My left, your right. Yes. <laughs> nope. Other way. Other way. Huh? Other way. Keep going. Keep keep it going. Keep keep it going. Okay. Keep going. All, all the way. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. That, that, yep, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> You're fine. That's good. <clears throat> How can I produce your show if I'm in the car, Dan? I don't know, you can fact check me. Tell me I'm doing, did you buy the other idler? Pardon? Did you, did you already buy the other idler arm? No. Oh, well, no, no, I do have it. It's in the, do you want it? No, the other, the second one. Did you go buy the other one that was in there? No. Oh, okay, I need you to go buy Oh, that. do I need that? Yeah. Oh, well, she gave me. <clears throat> you all want to have it, one in here. Oh, that one right there. This one right here. Oh, okay. What is this? No, that's a <coughs> that's a drag link. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The other one's right here. <coughs> no, the other. No, no. There's another one. Oh, is there really? Yeah. Oh, so it's I probably, should, I it's probably should get that. Yes, and then <laughs> and we probably won't use the drag link from what I'm seeing. I'll probably jack this up though, cause uh, I need a fork splitter. It's difficult to work around a camera. I'm gonna have to go get uh, something for this. Ball joint removal tool.
Oh, so you don't think you're gonna need the other thing? No, probably not. Oh, really? No, because I noticed this other bolt, this other idler was just messed up. Maybe the, these things, okay these now. things are handy sometimes. I've been to a bar on the side of the oh. uh, Turn your volume down. Here comes some banging. This is gonna be. Oh, there we go. There we go. I didn't think this is gonna be a huge problem, but kind of. It's kind of, kind of rough. that camera guy. Why? I remember being this difficult. You know, well, maybe. She says a lot. <laughs> Could use some heat or something. Pardon? Could use some heat or something. Heat. Yeah, like a torch. Wintertime. Or a... Uh, I've got uh, a hair dryer. Yeah. Yeah, put one of these bolts back in and hold this thing out of the way. A hair dryer. Oh. Yeah, we're drying cheese off. Well, actually, Isn't it one of those propane torches? No. Literally a hair dryer? Yeah. It's actually a tank. Yeah. Okay, so. We're gonna do you know you should probably try uh we're gonna admit defeat zoom it in a little bit yep i'm gonna i'm gonna take this tire back off so that i can hit that idler arm better because I didn't think ahead. Huh? Gosh. Woof, woof. Yeah, where is the woofy? Yep, someone from Algeria watching. 
I wonder what time it is there. I don't know, but you should say hi to him. Hi! It's the... Al Pacino one. The what? That's his name, Al Pacino. Al Pacino? Al Pacino. You know the interesting thing I like about... Oh, he says, he says, put the, uh... Eddie F. Put the damn camera where I can see something. Put the two bolts back in and hit it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm on the same page with you there. But... But I thought... I couldn't get a good swing on it. So, I came back out here. And I'd take the tire off. Sometimes yeah. a good retreat is the best defense. I agree. It's been a while since I've done a tie rod end. Or, a, or an idler arm. So, I... I think I got lazy. In my thinking. And... I just gotta keep it simple and approach it logically. Uh, overthinking. Why do they call it a tie rod? I don't see you tying anything. I don't know, they spell it tie T I E. I know. It's a tie it's a tie so, rod. Does that mean like when the hippies were doing it, it was a tie dye rod? Tie dye rod? <laughs> I don't know. Here, there's a proper way to go about this. Make sure that that's going to go inside that. Now you're going to get hate mail from hippies. Hippies don't watch my channel. If they, if they could find the pen. <laughs> you know, the pen they converted it into a pipe. Ow, fucker. All right. There we go. See? We could just start a channel where somebody could just go buy tools and then they could just sit here and try to be a mechanic and we could just have people help them out and be like, you need to put that bolt back here, right there. No, no, that one. Hey, you always get Sorry, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to minimize the input. I appreciate it. Hey, that was the that, proper way to do it was to put these bolts back in and just hit on it harder. I'm just being pussy about it. I get that painting. Oh, you lose this bar. Oh, there's a red ray rule. It's like, okay, here, here's the brush. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> hey, so while you got, how many people I got? Six. Well, I got six, six people. Well, I got six people here. If any of y'all are out there mechanics, uh. How do I do this? Chime in. Yeah. <laughs> What's next? What's the next step? What's the next step? Um. Hiring a, hiring a competent mechanic. <laughs> oh, oh, she's done. So what's your pet peeves? Like uh, customers who say, well, oh, I want to learn. Uh, it's okay if I watch, right? And then they stand right here while you got to go to your toolbox and then just like, oh, I'm sorry, am I in your way? Oh, that's one of mine. Yeah, you're referring to me again, aren't you? What do you guys think? What? <laughs> Why? I never get their way. Do you feel like you impede my progress? I try not to. Well, you know, when I'm working on your vehicle, it's by the hour. So. <laughs> That's a good point. So you I can usually, ask all I usually the... stay out of the way. No, some, some customers are actually fairly difficult to work with. I even help take the damn cat house out, okay? Oh, I know. Dog house. Dog house, cat house, whatever the hell. What animal is it today? Cow house? Cow house. <laughs> That's in China. <laughs> oh, you take cow house off. Uh, now we're getting hate mail. <laughs> All right. You're making me look bad. Oh, wait, I could do that myself. Wait, what? So, uh, is there, I'm not on the is there fittings? I put the fittings. That would make you look bad. Put the fittings in here first. Now, they kind of look like they're pre greased, uh, but I'd still grease them when you're done. Just to make sure. You need grease? I have a grease gun in the trunk. Oh. 
you know, because I operate out of a trunk. Oh, just like the cops, you could be a trunk mechanic. You know how they have trunk radios? Trunker trackers? Oh, trunk radio. You know, like when you have a scanner? Yeah. Yeah, it's I called mean, the trunker. A legal scanner. Uh, <laughs> not like that. Not like that illegal scanner I yeah, have. Yeah, you know, not for nefarious things. Oh, this one. Ah, okay. So what size is that? I'm probably gonna go up to... Nobody's saying anything, it... so they must be mesmerized by the comedy. Or they fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> or they're 13 year olds and their mom just came in and told them to clean the room. Actually, the dem... Oh, there we go. It's uh, 15 sixteens. Actually... I don't know about today, but the demographics of my channel is, uh, the majority of people who watch my channel are about, about as old as I am. Nah. Really? So they're young? I'm not young. Compared to me, everybody's young. <laughs> Alright, can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah. What about here? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. You might want to slide it over towards you just a hair. Am I, am I too high? There we go. What, the camera? Yeah, just a little bit towards you. I, about, well, I won't know now for 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 second delay. All right, so this guy's here, and then when you try to go, try to go try to nutten this, tighten this nut down, the whole thing spins. So you got to try to... So I can't can't get that in there very well and there's no way I'd be able to tighten that so I'm gonna have to do that ahead of time so the only real good way to do that is to squeeze these together a yeah, that was a little bit better angle. And I don't have a C-clamp anymore so we're gonna try this you can't see the clamp would you like my glasses try to get this moving and that's not gonna go because it's, it's a nylock not so I am gonna need a clamp. So mm, or a specialty tool. Give me a moment, people. Thank you. If you hurry, if you hey, hurry, write some, if, write some commentary while if I'm you going. hurry because of the delay, you'll still be working when they. Oh. <laughs> now, some, now you're gonna disappear for a while. <laughs> write some commentary. Oh, I could. spends too much time taking breaks. No matter. Well, I just, I just wrote. Wonder if he could ever get anything. I just wrote as he walked to the store to get a much needed clamp, and then I said, "It, it, it's a nice day here. It, better. A, a bit cold, but at least it's not raining." <laughs> I'm gonna try this instead, just to start it. Get a, a better grip on it. I don't have the specialty tool that you're probably supposed to use for this. So. Again, 
I don't do these every day. So. Those aren't the ones that you had in your uh, video. What? Those channel logs. Those are the ones that you don't like. These are the, I don't like the style of channel locks, no. Because they're cheap. Uh, no, because the design aspect of them. Well, yeah, because whoever designs them doesn't actually use them. Just like every tool I've ever used, I kind of look at them and go, does the guy that designed this ever even pick one up? Kind of going? Not look at a black SUV. What did we do wrong? Oh, they went to the bank. I'm gonna I'm gonna line. end up disappearing. Huh? Are you suggesting I'm gonna end up disappearing? Well, we won't see it for 30 seconds, so it's okay. <laughs> Comment section, black SUV pulls up, three masked men get out, mechanic disappears. <laughs> and the customers left like with a half finished product. <laughs> ah I just keep the live stream going and just ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do next? <laughs> Look at the guy from Algeria. Get some input, yeah. He'll say, put the bolts back in, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you do. Ow. See, okay. We've got six people watching thinking, wow, those two guys that are on that on that live stream, what a jackass. <laughs> they got. <laughs> What's wrong with those guys? Alright. Well, they live in the Seattle area. That's the first problem. All right, so there's where I got to think outside of the box again. Maybe we need to get controversial. A what? Maybe we need to get controversial. Controversial? Talk no. Talk about masks. No. <laughs> yeah, so that ain't gonna work. So I was gonna... algorithm's just shot down. Dang it. All right. Right so... now would be a good time for a Pennzoil ad. No, I don't like ads. I don't know. Pennzoil? Why do I say Pennzoil? Pennzoil. That's a future discussion. Or Pennzoil. Pence? Oh, Pennzoil. Oh, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. So what do you recommend as far as oil? Well, I recommend that if you have Pennzoil in your car, you stick with Pennzoil. If you have a Dodge from 07 to 14 or so, you stick with Pennzoil. Because that's what they gave you out of the dealership. Uh, so you gotta go, you're going to go buy it, and then you're going to go thinking that Castrol's better, but it'll end up sludging up. And now there's a lot of arguments as why it sludges up, and I'm doing research right now to do another video. Um, there's a chemical that they put in there that flushes your engine. Right. It keeps it clean. Now, when you use it with Pennzoil, it stays clean. But when you start putting Castrol in and stuff, it actually tears the detergents out of the Castrol. It's good for your engine if you continue to use Pennzoil, but if you keep switching, right. it builds up, it, it solidifies the detergents from the other oils. And that's where the, it's not wax buildup. What does Wes K it's, say? It's a chemical in there. It's not the wax from the Pennzoil. It's a different, what, what does what say? What does SK say? I didn't want to say the name. SK? Yeah. What's that? Scotty. Scotty Kilmer? <laughs> what does Scotty Kilmer think of Pennzoil? What does he think about Chevy's? Scotty, what do you think about Pennzoil? Let's talk about him and his Chevy dilemma. <laughs> this is a pain in the... As Av would put it, a pain in the cunning linguals. All right. Let's talk about the inflation. Maybe. Of a vehicle. Uh, maybe a seat clamp. All right, back to square one. Sebastian, let's talk about the cost of a vehicle compared 30 years ago. 30 years? Yeah. Why are they more money? <laughs> So 
someone made a comment. Uh -oh. They said put bolts back in lower vehicle to put weight back on taper. Okay. So, yes, that was my thought a second ago, and that's why I was trying to fit that up there. Um, but we had a clearance issue with that. These parts are the same. As far as how far out they are. Here, I'll bring you up here. These parts are the same as far as how far out these bolts are. Why isn't it this stupid thing? There we go. Okay. These parts are the same as far as where the bolts are and how far out it goes to the center here. But when I try to set this in and get the bolts lined up right there, that nut right there hits the frame. So, and it's already hitting the frame. So what I was going to do is I was gonna put the jack under here and push this up so that it would seat these together so that I could tighten that, but that isn't gonna work because I'm already hitting right here. So that would actually drive that into the frame. Uh, so I need to get this down further. So that's, that's kind of where I was at. And I didn't think that that was gonna work. So let's see if I can. try to use a C-clamp on it, what I'm, what I'm thinking here. Bear with me. There we go. I have my, I have my phone propped up in a position perfect to break the screen. I'm learning. What are you learning? How to use a C-clamp. That guy ain't gonna teach you nothing. <laughs> All right. I can... Is there anything about this? So how is your uh, uh, truck situation? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, but I mean, you just have to pack up everything and all that crap? Yeah, I, I packed up everything on the truck for now, and I'm going to move it over to a different shop, and then I can continue. When's that thing going to be on the road? Sometime this year. <laughs> this motherfucker ain't gonna work either. Oh. So I got the motor back and everything, but oh, you know. Oh, he says, okay, put a space first. So it's like, oh, between the bolts? I don't know, we talk about freaking outer space now, I don't know. No, I, you know, I see that. I, I don't I, get it. I'm not a mechanic. I think we're talking to William Shatner or something. No, I see what he's saying, but... Some Star Wars guy, I don't know. Well, and honestly, probably because I'm not equipped... My, my, either my brain isn't equipped for this properly, or I don't have the right tools. No, you need a lift. A lift would be nice. A lift solves all the other things. They have those mobile ones, don't they? Yes. Where's it at? Where's, where's oh, Robert Mark? Smith? I think he was the lead singer of the Cure for a while. That also does not work. Now you have eight watching. <laughs> Coming in by twos. This is hard landed. Hilarious. They're just gonna be like, they're they're emailing their friends. They're like, come watch this fucking idiot. <laughs> Wait, bring over a six pack. <laughs> we got some live. Some You're watching the Seahawks. We're gonna just watch this, this guy. This is getting live now. Is the Seahawks playing today? Yeah. When? Right now. Oh my gosh! There's eight people not watching the Seahawks. Because they're smart. No, they're not giving their money to pro sports, they're giving them to you. I'm not getting no money for this. Well, shit. Oh, wait, you, you better pay, be paying me. You better. <laughs> and you got another way to get home tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's a Ford Focus. Hey! Or maybe right. a Lexus with a dog in it. I don't know, I'll just take whatever's closest. I'm just kidding. Uh... They're probably like, what a bunch of idiots. You know there's value in that. What, being an idiot? Yeah, all these yeah, people, it makes, it makes all these people are watching me and they're just yelling through their screens right now. No, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's not how you do it at all. I did it like that once. The car's still up on blocks. Hey, I'm getting it. <laughs> we'll get this done today sometime. Okay, now it says use a spanner between. Oh. Bracket and chassis. Yep. No, I, I heard you with the. I heard. <laughs> what? I heard. I heard you with the spacer, and I didn't think of that because. Oh, spanner, not a spacer. No, because I got one right here. A spanner. It's yeah. Right. You just put it right there and use it for a spacer, and that was an absolutely valid point. No, a spanner is what you get when you take a banner and a spacer and put them together. So this guy must have been at the Trump rally. No. Uh, not a lot of people in the United States call them spanners, uh -oh, though. We dropped someone. We mentioned the Seahawks, and they said, "Oh fuck, that's right." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm missing the or, game for this fucking loser. Or it's halftime. I don't know. Oh, why am I watching this guy? The Seahawks are on. All right, we got that. I've watched the Seahawks in probably about five years at least. Uh, I'm. I could care less. I'm the best fair weather fan there is. I am a no weather fan. My wife says uh, I only like them when they're winning. Oh, that's what It's been a few years. <laughs> Can you imagine people that are fair weather Mariners fans? Uh, I haven't watched the Mariners in about 10 years. I don't know. Are they still here? Are they still here? Oh, God damn minute. Yeah. That's tight. Huh? Are they still here? I don't know. We sold them to San Francisco or something. I don't know. Maybe Vancouver. All right, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna go ahead, line that up. Uh, hey, we have a hockey team though. New nut for this guy. Put the ring back on. Oh, Robert Smith's from UK. Yeah, okay. He says, he says UK, mate. Okay. So I, I'm probably right. It's probably the guy that was the lead singer for uh, The Cure. Who, what's his name? Robert Smith. Same guy that was the lead singer for The Cure. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing that Robert Smith from The Cure wouldn't be watching a mechanic video. You do not know that for sure. Oh, probably. That would be fantastic. Oh, yeah, in his motor car. Motor car. <laughs> well, I've been watching okay. videos about how our, how our uh, Is that a BMW? linguistics... How our speech is completely different. That was a cool looking car over there. What was it? It was. I think it's a Beamer. Uh, did you say a BMW is a decent looking vehicle? I said this one over here. I regard cool. that as. Uh, I regard that as. Um, hey, I'm German. I have to think that. A Tesla. Uh, they all kind of look the same to me. I'm German and I have to look that way. You are German? Yeah. What is this over here? Oh, now you what? What? The one way over there. That's a Toyota. Oh, is that a Toyota? No, what? Oh. Yeah, that's one of them new BMWs. I think it's a hybrid. Yes, I'm German. <laughs> I'm half German. I don't know what the other half What's is. What's the other half? <laughs> I don't know what the other half is. Probably jackass. I, I was going to say. <laughs> Well, the other half's you clerk. took my joke from me, goddammit. The other half's clerk. Half, half <laughs> German, half asshole. Clerk? What's the first thing you said to me this morning? I'm not supposed to be here today. Okay, the second thing you said to me. <laughs> this is like a really bad comedy. What was it? Oh, uh... So it's really no Monty different. Monty Python, there you go. So it's really no different from the rest of my, rest of my life. A bad comedy? No, that's a tragedy. That's true. I have for something completely different. Yeah, but you gotta do a silly mechanic walk. <laughs> I'd love to 
John, what is it? John Cheese? John Cleese. Cleese. Silly walk. I loved it. Did you ever see the watch? They have a watch like that. So the legs are the, are the hands. Oh. And so they do the silly walk because, you know, because it's like turning and stuff. It's pretty good. I worked with a girl who. Oh, this guy, wait, this guy from. Uh, called U, these. The uh, guy from UK. Called these Carter pins. He's been a mechanic for 47 years. Damn. And he loves his channel. He loves his channel? He loves your channel. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I very much do appreciate that. I try hard. Um, I'm still in the learning processes of. But you haven't what, done what of what guys Of do. what might be entertaining to people. Um. But I try to be educational also, but it seems as if though most of the people out there want to see me make a mistake, I think. They want to see the van fall on you. They want to see, yeah, they want to see the van fall on me. They'd like to see a mistake. They want blood and gore. So. But gore is just traveling the country in his private jet telling people about global warming. So I, I wanted to try a live video and, or, or um, body cam footage of me being a mechanic, kind of like a, you know, like live PD or something, but <laughs> you never know what'll happen. What? Like what? Oh, yeah, well, that happens. I'm sure right now everybody's going, yeah, right, 26 years, and, you know, four years, sure. <laughs> huh? These guys have got a keg out of sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We said we don't drink. We never said anything about crack. <laughs> <laughs> don't see very many people on crack working on their vehicles. Though. Hey, my wife watches this channel. Be careful what you say. <laughs> Is she right there? I don't see her. No, my wife's working. She's hiding. No, last time. So last time I did a, um, I did a 19 second live video because I didn't, I didn't realize it would post. I was trying to kind of see what would happen. Right. And so. Um, I walked inside the door of the store and I just, and then I stopped it. It posted it and, uh, it was like 19 seconds and of me looking at the floor. Up. And my, later I got home, my wife's like, live video, huh? <laughs> I was like, oh, that posted, huh? I saw that. <laughs> I hate that. Now I've got a boat. Why? Because now people know where I am. Now people know. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Watch out, man. Good grief, man. That's an expensive camera. <laughs> I thought the van was going to fall in uh, You got homeowner's insurance, right? No, oh, it's broad, uh, what is it called? I almost said broadband. What do you call it? <laughs> broad farm. Broad farm. So if your car falls on me, I'm okay. I remember last time, I remember last time Matt said, Jesus, we you living in this thing? Yeah. So you'd, you'd have to have homeowner's insurance if you fell on. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Sorry, it's late in the day. When there's lockdowns, I'm always in compliance. <laughs> The cop pulls me over and says, well, you should be at home. I'll say, I am. I am at home. <laughs> then they'd say, well, where are you getting your mail? I'd say, well, the postman has a hard time finding me, but he gets, he finally gets there. Most of, the, most of the time I get my mail at your mom's house. <laughs> oh, someone just said uh, it's... What I do now. Nomadic mechanic. Nomadic Mechanic says, good morning. Oh, good morning. So either he lives close by, <laughs> and he's just getting up. He's just waking up. Or he lives on the other side of the planet. Or, if you believe in flat earth, he lives just way right over there. He lives over there. <laughs> All right, I'm taking you to the other side. It's like transporting. You know what problem I have is? Uh, really? <laughs> You're kind of a mess. 
You know what my problem is? What? Is that I, I'm using a crappy little tripod. I have a better tripod. I just didn't bring it with me today. So we'll see how this turns out. Then we'll get better equipment. Oh, that was horrible question. There we go. Do you want to be part of my live video? Okay, just letting you know it's live. I don't care. You can hear my voice. You just can't see my face. It is short my face. I'm going my chest. Oh, great. Now I got you were on the other video. I know, and I had to move. I just repositioned my bed. I had to move twice now. Aren't you done yet? Oh! Oh, he had problems. I know. It's an astro. Do you take it? Are you taking over for Matt? That's right. Someone's got a Matt's not here, so the store, store manager is asking me if I know what I'm doing. Alright, so where's the dog? I'm going the same I'm going the same route with this side. I'm gonna Oh this side. Uh, what we're doing is we're gonna do that uh, idler arm on this side and also a uh, crankshaft position sensor. <laughs> or I'm gonna kill myself. Nothing like doing a job twice, right? Because it sounds like seagulls, <clears throat> and it makes me think that I'm at the beach. You're at the beach. My jack. <coughs> My jack makes noises like seagulls. If you feel like you're at the beach, you've been working on Astros way too long. I know. <laughs> but wait, you're jacking up the car now. I told you I like seagulls. It sounds like seagulls. Now you're talking about seagulls. I think there's a. I think there's a delay here. Uh, a little bit. All right. After this, see if I can let's see if I can do this, this side right. Shooting. What? We're gonna go shooting? Your comment the other day, and I'm not gonna mention it because you're on live, was funny though. What did I say? Well, I'm not gonna say when you're on live. What? Did you hear my language earlier? No, because you said about... The what? You, it was after the whole Senate thing, and you're like, you're fucked, you have a gun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that mic just picked that all up. And that black SUV is turning around. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna loosen it, but I'm not gonna take them out. Uh, That's what I said. Okay. Uh, can you even see what I'm doing? No, we can see your head. My fat head in the way? Well, yeah, and you're like 100 yards away. Huh? You're 100 yards away. It looks like you're working on a Prius. Oh. <laughs> I only like working on Priuses from 100 yards away. Uh, yeah. Here, let's see if this works. Let me take a picture of you back away now. No. She'll get angry with me. That doesn't work. Oh, what the hell's going on here? Here. She gotta keep moving the goddamn camera around. I think she's watching you online. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Where is this stupid thing at? It's right here. Oh, the guy from Alger. He says it's midnight. Oh, wow. He's up late. Oh, and, nor and Nomadic Mechanic is going on night shift. Oh, cool. He's in Ireland. Oh, wow. Very good. Thank you. So now I'm thinking of a, of a, rock, a Bob Seger song. What was that? Working on the night crew. Oh. Dee, dee. <laughs> in case you're wondering, I'm trying to prop this camera up. I'm not wondering. No, I was 
you know, people wondering why the camera keeps moving around. I'm trying to I'm trying to prop up a fourteen hundred dollar phone without breaking it. Hey, but if this goes well, I will make sure that I have my proper tripod and camera equipment with me uh, next time. So, leave some feedback, and then YouTube will pick up this and uh, share it more. And then uh, we can get up to a thousand subscribers, and I can use YouTube to stream live instead of some third-party app. There we go. All right. Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... Fucking Murphy's Law for you right there. Leave it up to me to turn a 20 minute job into a two hour video. All right. I still don't like it. Okay, I'll grab the new one. Hey, where's that uh, partner? There we go. Sometimes I have more exciting jobs than doing suspension work on a 2002 Chevy Astro, and I would like to involve you on those fantastic jobs. Like timing belts on a 2009 Audi 2.0. I did one of those, it was horrible. Is it Audi or an Well, it's probably an any. Oh, same fucking bullshit. Can we see what's going on there? Uh, Where's the spray paint? Spray paint? Yeah, I thought we were gonna make like funky colors on the undercarriage. Good lord, you've got a mess going on out here. Uh, gonna show them my mess? When you're done, yeah. Okay. This side came apart really easy. Someone said that. Is that a comment? Notice I didn't say her. <laughs> but then I just kind of did. With today's, with today's gender neutral words, you can't say that anymore. That's what, that's what you have to say. That's what uh, they, they, him, he, she said. <laughs> did you see what they did on that? Uh, I think it was in Congress. The guy said the prayer and then he said a man and a woman. And a woman. Yeah, that's it's a point like, of contention now. Stupid, how stupid is society getting? I mean, once you research the word, <laughs> it has nothing to do with gender, for crying out loud. No, but... It's like management. Won't be able to be management anymore. It'll have to be managed woman mint. Uh, or manage women. Manhole cover. <laughs> person, person hole cover. <laughs> it hole cover. It hole cover. <laughs> now be careful because some of my viewers probably have political uh, ramblings, <laughs> leanings. Leanings, yeah. Well, right now my it's house very, is it's very, it's very easy to say something that somebody might construe as offensive, so I just, yeah. Now, you can't say offensive, it has to be defensive. 
I'm See, everything is, everything's opposite nowadays. It's opposite day? I don't know. My yeah. Astro's leaning, so it's got leaning. Your Astro... Your... See, when you say Astro, that offends the LGBTQCYX. Did your... It's not a Chevy Metro, it's a, or a Geo Metro, it's a Chevy Metro. No, it's Geo Political. So what the manager say? She doesn't want me making a mess in her parking lot anymore. She doesn't care. Okay. You bring her lots of lots of dollars. This is. That's asinine. This guy in Ireland's probably like, man, these Americans are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they know the United States is going to fall pretty soon. Why? Because we're stupid. Yeah. Not all of us, but... Which basket are you in? <laughs> I don't know. Am I in a basket? Yeah. I'm in a bread basket. I'm in a basket case. I'm in a case of baskets. A bread basket. Bread <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. My wife's going to make it about 30 seconds into this video and she's going to shut it off. I'm like, I can't handle that. She's going to say, wow. You got problems. I married you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't mention my name on the video. Oh, me? No, my wife. Oh. How about your dog? Can we mention your dog's name? Yeah. Are you sure it's not under like protective custody? Or oh, it's signed a release form. What? It signed a release form. With his paw? Yes. Yes. Ah. Sounds like a dinner plate. So, no, no, but, no, but, no medic, medic. Said not stupid, mate. Thumbs up. Ah. Ah. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I think he was talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. I'm the you guy gotta that keep can't. that guy. You gotta keep that guy around. I'm the guy that I can't. I'm the guy that they can't see. Uh, I showed him a picture. Yeah, I know. You're screwed now. I know. All right. I'll just hack into your account. Can later. we still see what's going on here? Okay. I'll put your dog picture there instead. On my on my account? Yeah, it'll be a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, All right, I'm going to get underneath this scary vehicle. Are you LARPing? LARPing? Yeah, light action road light. <laughs> this is a game. I am winning. <laughs> yeah, I know, you, you, you fought back hard from the other, the other one. This one's easier. Uh, until I get to the end, and I got to deal with the boss. Ah, uh, that's true. Whoa, stuff's moving. All right, here we go. So, oh, yes, sir. The same guy basically says, "Just interested in the American cars. Don't uh, get any, don't get many here. Just Euro crap." Oh. Well, so this sounds is, like a sanitation problem. This is the finest American-made Chevy there is. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Everybody that's watching that has a '57 Chevy right the now. American like, I don't like '57 Chevys. Well, but they're nice. So we're, uh, Bel Air. so we're 65, 64 and a half Mustangs and 90% of them are garbage, oh, yeah. which make the other 10% more valuable. <laughs> no, this is, yeah, this ain't, these things ain't. Hey, I learned to drive in a 1967 Buick Electra. What is with that? A, with a black vinyl top. It was green with a black vinyl top. So I personally, I... I, I'm conflicted. Uh, 
because. Uh, uh hang on, I get there. Uh, oh my gosh! I have a wet right here. Oh, get back. That didn't sound good. <laughs> get back to that cotter pin point so I can lock this down. That did not sound good. It's wet right here. <laughs> Uh, so I have a 1987 Dodge Ram uh, 50, which in essence is a Toyota Pup. It's a Mitsubishi <laughs> Mighty Max. I think Mitsubishi is a foreign Asian car, but uh, Dodge rebranded it, and the Dodge rebranded it, and it's got a an import engine in it, but it has a carburetor. It has a uh, cap and rotor, uh, has electronic pickup, but it doesn't have a point system. I wanted to go back to a point. It had a mechanical fuel pump, but since I'm gonna put a Weber carburetor on it with a supercharger, I'm gonna go with an electronic fuel pump. I don't like the electronic ignition, I don't like the electronic fuel pump, and I would rather have it all old school and mechanical, even though it's an import engine, uh, I still consider it an American vehicle. I like the American vehicles, uh, not so much the imports. Uh, I like Toyotas and Hondas for the mere fact that they're easy to work on and I don't have to work on them very often. I think mostly I work on Fords and GMCs, not so much Chevy, but I think GMCs badge more. So it's just kind of like, this is, this is pretty, this is pretty typical. Uh, this is a 2002, mind you, but this kind of road rust, road dirt. This is pretty pretty typical of what you're gonna see for an uh, 18 year old, 19 year old Chevy. Um, you know, nothing. This is not an East Coast car, so this is solid metal, solid frame rail. N not not a lot of rust underneath here. Just a little bit dirty. So, but that's standard stuff. Just overbuilt under engineered like look at that control arm the control arm is a tube it's just a stamped tube and on bmws and and such there's like there's like a dog bone here a dog bone here there's like three of them down here different angles and drive axle and then the shock tower also so there's like seven eight points on a bmw and here you just got a tube and a freaking stamped in ball joint uh, doesn't get any more simple than that. It's solid rod, but still, it's not, there's not a whole lot. They got torsion bar suspension. So the torsion bar is here, and that guy goes back, do, 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 back there to the frame rail. It's got a rod that holds the torsion on it, and that's what keeps the front end down. No springs up there, just torsion bar control. That's old school suspension style. All right, while we got her in the air, let's put a jack stand under there because I value my face. At least in there. And what we're gonna do is gonna pop out this uh, crankshaft position sensor. Ooh, she didn't like that. That's an eight mil. So what happened was, um, we were getting all sorts of, well, we did the spider injection and the uh, intake manifold gaskets because it was leaking water and we had to flush the oil out a few times and we put a distributor in there and it didn't seem as if it was clocked quite correctly. Um, but we did the cam crank correlation relearn uh, and uh, still throwing a cam crank correlation code. It was pretty oily and stuff and it's not difficult to get to. so. Figured that was one of the last components left in the timing system. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw a crankshaft sensor in here and try to do the cam crank relearn again and see how that works out. So I'll be back in a moment. Enjoy this. View of the underside of a vehicle. Right 
just saw it, so I figured. Oh, that's got spacers. Uh-oh. Not bad or good? Yes. I don't know. Talk to Rebecca. <laughs> She's holding me. Oh, I should have used her name. We'll just call her manager girl. Oh. I already said her name. Oh, I might have. Ow, I already did. Uh oh. She heard you. Now she's mad. She's looking at your mouth thinking, wow. Why? I don't know. So you're not going to need that little. So there's the. What you call it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I want you to drive it and see how it. See how it feels. Oh, without that uh, idler arm? Without no. the, yeah. The so, so this one, there aren't any spacers. They came, it came with a couple of washer spacers for this. Yes, I know this. The, no, dude. I know that the. Uh, can't see what you're doing. I know that my focus is off. I, I don't know how to operate this stupid yeah. thing. Oh, there's seven people watching. Uh, yeah, so, well, there's, there's something interesting. This, yeah, I know you can't see it. That's bothering me. It just does not want to zoom in. It doesn't want to focus on that. Anyway, if you could see the front of that crankshaft sensor, it's actually got physical damage to it. You can kind of see it's got rub marks on it. And that one's clean and new, so. Uh, I think I need spacers on this because it's touching. So I'll space that off and see how much distance I'm going to need to space this one out when I put it in real quick and then put that in. I know, I don't know. I said you're gonna get to watch the bottom side of a car for a minute. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, okay. It's just a thought. Huh? It's just a thought, dude. It's just a thought? <laughs> maybe people will be. Because, maybe people would like to watch what you're fucking doing. Um, unfortunately. Well, here, look. Unfortunately. Here. That's all I can do because I can't see if I can't see if you can see what I'm doing or not. It's not the face cam; it's the back cam. There's the that thing of a bobber there. We're done. We're, we're done. We're done. Here's my mess. Not horrible. And now I'm gonna put crap away. Sorry about your ears. Um, uh, remember, I still gotta grease those zerk fittings. I have to grease those fittings and make sure that these uh, lug nuts are tight. Sensor we're using inductive or a hall type? Good question. Um, 
I think that's a hall. I think that's a hall effect sensor. I I will have to check. I think it's a hologram. Or maybe it's Project Blue Beam. Take um. <laughs> grab that, grab that crankshaft sensor, and go have them pull it up on the computer real quick. This one? No, no, the box. That the one. Box. Okay. Go have them pull it up on the computer and ask them if the Hall Effect sensor or what it says. Oh, just because. Something to do. Something to do. I understand that the angle of the camera hor is horrible. I know. I don't watch my own videos, so I probably I probably won't watch this. I'll respond to your comments for sure. But unless there's something in the video that I need to go back and look at to answer a question, I probably won't watch this video. But that's just the, just the way I, I don't like watching my own videos. I'm sorry. All right. Your comments. Uh, oh. Nobody cares what a license plate number is. that was going on. And I'm gonna have to turn the camera off in order to uh, do the, the cam crank relearn uh, for my scanner that I use. Uh, I'll need the phone because uh, I use that for the computer for it. So to do the cam crank relearn, I'll have to steal the camera. So I'll shut the video down. But again, uh, I can leave updates that it worked properly. Um, that everything worked out in the description when I go back and edit this. So if you just keep adding some questions or whatnot, uh, I'll probably get to them later today. So, uh, well, he was interested in what type of management system, engine management system, it has. <laughs> I think that's called. I think that's called the Sebastian uh, system. Engine management system. That'd, uh, be, the, that'd be the Sebastian effect. <laughs> Carbonaro effect. Oh, if you blew that down, I could take a drive with it. Yeah, go, uh, go step on the brake pedal for a minute. For, oh, do, uh, do I have to actually time it? No. Uh, for a minute. No, step on it a few times to get the brake pads to kick out to the rotor. Brake failure. <laughs> you know, so, that they're, good when you're so they work when you're driving. Oh, shit. It's been on like the whole time. It has no idea what's going on, does it? Service engine soon. All right, everybody. 
all six of you still here <laughs> thank you for watching and uh i'll update i gotta i gotta do the relearn i could feel it misfiring a little bit Gotta wait for the light. <laughs> That's gonna be weird. I'll sit here and wait for it. Uh oh. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll update that we got the cam crank correlation right and that the shimmy's gone. Uh, just a couple hours when I get home. But appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, leave some comments for me. Subscribe if you haven't. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank Thumbs you. Thumbs up and share.